All right, ladies, this is three five-minute rounds. You know the rules. We all expect a good, clean, fair fight. Obey my commands. Protect yourself at all times. Come out ready to fight. Good luck and hook them up. Correction from Steve Mazzagotti, the referee, used to the men, I'm sure. Three five-minute rounds. This will be contested under three three-minute rounds. There she is, the Muay Thai Demoness. Gina Carano, a professional Muay Thai record of 12, 1, and 1, undefeated in MMA at 3 0 with two knockouts. Her dad, a former professional right, football ready. player in the you're NFL, right. Jay, a backup for the D D Dallas Cowboys at quarterback. And now she is about to, well, want to score a touchdown here in her debut at Elite XC. And I think whenever you see somebody from Muay Thai, you're going to see a lot of knees, a lot of low leg kicks, and of course, a lot of striking standing up. We talked about Ketty being very extremely strong physically. She is also known for overpowering your opponents in the clinch. So, Bill, you being the Muay Thai man, it'll be interesting to see what happens when they do get to close quarters. I think when they come in tight, then uh, Ketty's going to want to take it to the ground. There's a nice head kick by Toronto. Um, I don't believe that, that uh, Toronto wants to go to the ground. I don't think this is the place for her to learn it. I think she wants to stay on her feet. And the book on Carano is that she is able to be taken down. And while her shot defense is improving, it is at times spotty. Although right now in the Greco Roman clinch, they're jockeying for position along the fence. A nice knee by Kenzie. It breaks out of the clinch with a boom right hand. And Kenzie, what she's doing, she's willing to eat some punches, eat some elbows, just to get in to get a closer distance. You do that to try and get somebody to the ground. And they're pummeling now, turning Corrado around on the cage, and Corrado going to what she knows best. More tiny strikes on the ground now, and you know that she's just going to let Julie Kenzie get back get up back to her feet. And unfortunately for Kenzie, when she right. tries to pull Corrado in tight, that's when she's susceptible to the elbows, that's when she's susceptible to the feet. Especially when they're locked up to do something called breaking the grappler's agreement, which means you break off and try and throw one of those elbows. Toronto doing a good job with the strikes, but Kenzie a little wild right now in the clinch. She needs to settle down a bit, going for the shot. Nice takedown defense there by Toronto, who now looks to take the back of Julie Kenzie. We'll see just how well she is done with her ground game as she turns Kenzie around, looking for side control, but she's in the open half guard here, Jake. So obviously Trish trying to keep her close so she doesn't get those elbows laying down on her seat. You can see that Corrado's trying to get back out, try to get some distance to use that ground and pound. For the first time ever, women mixed martial arts being shown. And it's about time we got out of the dark ages on a variety of factions when it comes to mixed martial arts going mainstream here with Julie Kenzie and Gina Corrado. And so far, Corrado is winning the stand-up battle. Yeah, it looks like Corrado's breaking her down. She's cutting her down low. She's coming up with an overhand right, and uh, I, I think it's only a matter of time. Every time she hits her onto with one of those overhand rights, you know that Kenzie's only defense is to try and go down low for a takedown. Corrado knows that. Kenzie comes in with a record of 8-4 and four with two submissions. Her biggest weakness is her inability to finish fights. She's able to control fighters, but she is prone to stalling and is not known for her, well, knockouts or submissions. And now Corrado just beginning to impose her will here, mixing it up with her hands and feet. Kenji needs to keep moving to her right in the next round. And All right, are you ready? You look ready? for Corrado to Bring come in with a low kick, to come in with an overhand right, with a followed by a left hook. Just to give you an idea of how much uh, these two like to keep it standing, they're on the mat for only 13 seconds the first time, 35 seconds the second time for less than a minute total. And you know Gina Carano, she's very happy with that statistic. Yeah, that's what she wants to be. She is very, very comfortable on her feet. I'm not so sure Kenzie really believes in herself right now also, just judging by what we've heard uh, in between the rounds. Well, Kenzie trying to pull out all the stops, spinning back kick back to the clinch. Not a traditional tie clinch, and they take down by Kenzie, but you can see the balance in favor of Corrado with the, the headlock here. Well, right here, we can see that there is maybe a lack of a ground game, but she really doesn't seem to be doing much. And of course, you can see, or hear the referee, Steve Mazzagatti, here in Elite XC, there is 
the 15 second clock where after he administers a warning, there is that clock, although now we see the action and a great attempt at a guard pass there. But maybe talk a little bit about that 15 second clock. Yeah, the 15 second clock when the uh, referee deems that there is absolutely no action, he will give them a warning. After the warning, if there's no action, he will call to the timekeeper to turn the 15 second clock on. If there's no advancement after 15 seconds, he will stand them up. Jay, what does Kenzie have to do here to counter the kicking of Corona, although she's coming forward now? Again, she has to believe in her game, exactly what her corner said. But I, again, I don't think she does. She's been rocked a couple of times. She's gone in for takedowns, and it hasn't worked for her. She walks into a kick again, going for a sloppy shoot. Nice brawl there by Corano. Corano trying to get down a full mount. Now she has her back, and we'll see if she turns to go for the rear naked choke on the back door. Escape by Kenzie, who gets hit on the way up with a nice one-two combination. Corano is one tough woman. Actually, both of these Kenzie women are unreal. equally tough. What a battle here between the ladies of Elite XC, Gina Corano and Julie Kenzie. I do believe that Corano is quite surprised by the fact that uh, Kenzie's taking her punches and taking her kicks, and she's still standing in front of her. I tell you what, guys, I watched her train last night. It was about 11 o'clock at night. She was training. Oh, and there's a right hand that drops Kenzie. Sorry, Jay, but this fight is in danger of being stopped. What a right hand. The power exhibited by Corano. Finish your punch. I would say she was training in, in the very next door next to Enzo Gracie, but everything was about getting on top of somebody. Grounding and pounding has not been able to do that in this fight. You have to commend the resilience, the toughness of Julie Kenzie. Talk about how tough these guys are, but uh, these women are equally as tough. And right at the end of another entertaining round, the takedown by Kenzie. She looks battered and bruised, Jay. I'll tell you what. And Corano wasn't even tired there in the corner. Her conditioning is absolutely phenomenal. But you were asking before what Kedzie needs to do. She needs to continue to try for that takedown, but get on top and use her ground and pound, maybe for submission, and just try and get some points there. And again, a reminder for those of you looking at the clock now and wondering why it started at three minutes. That is where this fight is being contested under with the women making history. And what a historic matchup and entertaining fight this is. Kenzie gets the takedown, but Corano now on the bottom. Cross side position, north south here. So, that's exactly what we talked about. See if Paulson's training. Yeah, we'll see if her training, yeah, we'll training with Paulson paid off right here. She has to she wants it. under such notable individuals as the aforementioned Eric Paulson, a former pseudo champion, Marco King of the Street, who was, and Debbie Purcell, who's done very well for herself in female mixed martial arts. In fact, she's cross trained in various forms of martial arts. And now, in this third round, she's going for an arm triangle choke here on Corano. I think she originally got her real naked and kind of slipped out of it. Now she's just trying to make do. And really, let's face it, oh, nice, nice overhand. It's obvious that both of them probably need a little bit of work, Jay, on the ground, but you have to give them A for effort. They are definitely not giving any of the other fighter a quarter or giving them an inch. But right now, I guarantee you, Kenzie's thinking in her mind, I got what I needed. I took the takedown, shot in there, had the control I wanted. I still couldn't do anything with it. Kenzie goes for the shot and just the simple, simple physical attributes of Corano. This girl at 5'8", 141 pounds, she is deceptively strong, you guys. Yeah, she's very, she, she has worked on the takedown defense, no question about it. You can see Corrado remaining focused, trying to set up the combination with the jab. We are into the final minute now, the final 60 seconds of what has been a thrilling, historic female encounter here at Elite XC Destiny. Here's what about the world of MMA, guys. You look at both these young ladies and you think to yourself, you see them on the street, hey, what? Life's looking young ladies, not knowing that they can kick your butt. Well, they can kick your butt. Well, they can kick your butt. <laughs> you know, guys, back in my native Canada, I've had the pleasure of calling many females mixed martial arts fights, Muay Thai battles, but this one is definitely right up there. What a debut for the women of mixed martial arts here tonight on Showtime. Corano wanting to finish it with a flurry, but Kenzie says, no way, I'm going to go right down to the water with you, sister. Let's just enjoy this last 20 seconds of this fight. <laughs> Very hard for Julie Kenzie all fight long. But you know what? Kenzie needs to finish in a flurry because right now it's Corano's fight to lose. Kenzie goes for the takedown. She stood right up by Corano. A knee by Corano. And this fight will go to the judges as both fighters receive.
a great round of applause. They embrace each other. Tremendous moment, a tremendous fight for mixed martial arts, and they're receiving a standing ovation from the huge crowd in attendance at the Kosovo Civic Center. What a moment. I think they have just broken some serious ground for women MMA.